torture. There is only so much that a mind can take. For some, simply losing their infernal cellular device is enough to send a shockwave of panic down their spines. Although, throughout history, young soldiers, at times, have had to endure a much more maddening set of circumstances. During the Vietnam War, a young soldier was captured and imprisoned in a now infamous POW camp. The head torturer had a panache for going a bit too far, even when it was clear no information could be gained from the subject. The young soldier endured this for years, until one day he had succumbed to his capturers, or his madness. At this point, it would be debating semantics, and either way, the camp now had a new torturer. He was methodical, using all the tactics he learned from his time on the other end of the rack and a few new ones he learned along the way. He reveled in finally being able to dole out the pain. He knew who he was, but he didn't care. He only wanted to stay where he could keep cutting and beating his victims to death. To hide his identity, he wore a simple burlap covering with holes for his eyes and mouth. During a rescue strike, he was accidentally skewered with a poison dart he was fond of using as of late to a dispose of bad informants. The rescue team located the cells, but all the prisoners were already dead. As they cleared the rooms and happened upon the soldier, they checked under the mask, seeing his face they knew he was the soldier missing from all those years ago. They whisked him to the awaiting medical team a few kilometers away. Lying on the stretcher, as flashes of consciousness passed, he picked up the last word uttered by his doctor, a summation of his prognosis. Throughout the rest of the war, there was always a lingering eeriness around the bed, and any patients placed in it died and always had post-mortem wounds inflicted upon them. We moved that item here, and wouldn't you know it, we trapped another soul and released a monster with a smiling burlap sack for a face. He's a fine addition. Just remember, though, don't even so much as touch his bed, or your prognosis will match his name. Grim. <laughs>